everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today, we're gonna to talk about Pin Windows or Pin This App. Now, Pin Windows is a way that you're able to lock somebody into an application so they're not able to go back into your home page. They're not able to delete photos, make phone calls, send text messages, or purchase things. Now, this really comes in handy if you have children and if you want them to only use one app and not get out of it and make changes, then this is gonna be the best thing for you. So the first thing that you wanna do is, let's say that you wanted them to be inside of YouTube. So make sure you open up YouTube or maybe YouTube Kids or a game that they like to play. Then you wanna go inside of your recent menu application. Now I'm gonna show you two different ways of going inside of this and out of it because right now I have this one set up for gestures and it's a little bit different if you use the navigation bar. But because this one's set up on gestures first, we'll go through it like this. So now that you've gone to your recent applications, you're gonna tap on the icon of the application you would like to pin, and then you just choose the option of pin. So it's turning on pin windows. The only way to get out of it is if you swipe up and hold, and that's one of the things that's different with the navigation bar. Obviously, you're not going to swipe up, and I'll show you how you can do that here in just a second. So now they're able to go through all of these videos. They can check out subscriptions. They can go really anywhere and everywhere. Let's say that they go inside of maybe this page here. They're still able to use the back, but then they can't go back further than what is already the home page. Even if they try to go home, they can't do that. If they try to, you know, maybe turn off the display, go back into the phone, it still takes them right back to here. The only way you can get out is if you swipe up and hold. Now, the nice thing about this one is that it will take them back over inside of your pin or your, or your biometric screen, the lock screen, but I will show you how you can turn that on or off. So heading over inside of the next setting, which is going to be the navigation bar. So we're gonna turn on the navigation bar. So we'll go inside of display. We're gonna move down over inside of navigation bar. Let's turn this one on. Uh, but now let me show you where those pin window settings is if you'd like to take a look at it. Uh, and this is where you'd wanna turn on and toggle on that, that pin after unlocking. And you'll see what I mean here. So you wanna go inside of your settings, go to biometrics and security. Inside of here, you're gonna go all the way to the bottom and you go to other security settings, all the way to the bottom again. There is your pin windows. Now, this is what we're talking about here, which is asking for pin before unpinning. Uh, so this just takes you back to your lock screen. It's simple as that. And so how you're able to have this work is let's say that we go again inside of YouTube, just to make sure that it was opened at one point. You're gonna go inside of your recent applications, tap on the icon, pin this app, and now you wanna read this. To turn on or off or basically unpin this app, you wanna touch and hold recents and back button at the same time. So if you're locking somebody out that's very young and can't read, you don't need to go back to the pin or the lock screen. Now, if you have somebody who is able to read that, they're old enough, uh, then you might wanna make sure that you turn on that toggle that was in the last uh, menu. So here again, we're trying to hit the back button, can't get out of it. Trying to hit the home button, can't get out of it. Trying to go inside of more recent apps, can't do it. Power button would be the same. You wanna press and hold on these two. It takes you out of that whole pinning process right back over inside of the lock screen, and then now you're good to go. So again, just make sure that you go through the toggle of pin windows if you want it to lock your phone once it's unpinned, uh, or if you don't need it, and it'll take you right back to this little home page here. But again, pin windows is perfect for anybody who has children, or maybe if you're at an office and you walk away from your phone all the time at the desk, and you don't want people to mess with your phone. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this a huge thumbs up. Did you know that if you hit that like button, it actually turns blue? And don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.